Easy match. Got it. Yeah, here you go. All right. Again, we're going to go over one or two, maybe three positions on how to score from there, and then one how to stall, right? So the only, if you're going to stall from this position, I don't want the lock to be by his chest. I want the lock to be right in his chin, right, right here. So if you can kind of see underneath here, I'm locking underneath his chin, right? And then my elbows, okay, have to be here. All right, so essentially what I want is, right, if you can kind of look at this position, like this, all right? All right. I don't need him to be able to do that, okay? Um, hey, fellas, walk around or drive around, Coach Pinto, please, okay? So that's how you're going to stall from there. And again, I would keep my hips down as low as you, they can go, right? So people are going to tell you, don't be on your knees, be on your fucking knees here. And when I say be on your knees, I mean literally on your knees and your thighs are almost touching. Okay, so your hips are real, real, real low. All right, so now if he wants to drive into me, okay, not only can he not get his um, his head out to one side or the other, right, he can't really push underneath my hips. He can't pry my hips up. And what happened was you were kind of here-ish, right, with your ass in the air, and he kind of got a little bit of space and just drove through. No, he was on his knees. He was on his knees? His toes, oh. are, his toes are in the mat. Okay, so let's like, keep our... Look at toes are dug in, and you got to run over his oh, toes. Okay, so just put your shoes flat and here is fine. Okay, and then you're looking to get your hips down as low as they'll go, right? Because that way, he can't drive in and catch you know, or get underneath your hips, okay? And then you can kind of slide right. your feet like that. All right, so that's the, the easiest thing to do, which is stall. Uh, or what should be the easiest. No, you would think, Wait, two right? seconds left. Yeah. Hey, can you come over on this side? No, not here. Okay, so the first way you're going to score from here, all right, and you go down your knees now, okay? This is probably most common at a heavyweight level, right? So I'm just going to collapse to one side, right? Stay up on that. Okay? I'm going to collapse my whole body weight over this side, and as I do, this knee tries to knee him in the face through his arm. Just stay on that elbow. Okay, I'm going over the armpit and then trying to knee him in the face with my with my knee here. Alright? The one thing you're gonna want to do is put your knee like in his ribs. Okay? Believe it or not, that doesn't help us much. Okay? You're not getting any pressure. It's like doing a front headlock and just kind of leaving it real loose right down here when you really want to be here. Right? So you're gonna put your knee over. And now all we're doing is a complete 180 uh, degree pivot. Don't spin. Don't circle behind you. Okay, you're letting weight off. All we're doing is once you get your knee here, pivot. And now underneath his arm. All right? So, again, same lock. Really lock your hands right to his chin. Okay, start pulling the, the elbows in as best you can. Right? So I'll start collapsing to one side. Knee goes over, and now I'm facing the knee. If you look at it, my knee is kind of going into his face and pushing him forward. Okay, and now it's just a 180 degree pivot, and then switching my hands. All right, that's number one. Um, I can only do that to my left side. That's just me personally, right? So whatever side you usually go behind, do it on that side. The other side, all you're gonna do. Is I'm going to start collapsing and, and kind of picking up one elbow here. Now, if he decides he's going to peek out, it's very obvious that he's going to peek out from this side. So sit with that right butt cheek here. I got to know he's going to do that. All right. Not only do I know he's going to peek out, but I know which side. So I'm starting to collapse this side. So as he does, he'll so freeze. Okay. I'm letting go and just knee him in the face. Okay. You should be able to score from there. If you want to create that position, now this is what we're talking about with, with big guys, right? Now we're going to start locking at the elbows. So I'm not locking. Okay, it's hard to see, right? I'm not locking at the chest anymore, okay? I'm locking at the elbows here, right? I'm lock, Dude, I'm locking right across his face, all right? So, again, and be aggressive with it, right? So kind of hips down, push. Pull a little bit. Now, he doesn't like that, right? So he's going to really straighten his arms a lot. 
Okay, as if, if his arms are straight, I'm gonna lock my hands right around his elbow. And now I'm locked on his face. Andrew, how's that feel, bud? You right there? Okay, good. All we gotta do now is just pick a side. Okay, and now it's gonna be the same knee over, but it's a whole lot easier to do. And you can kind of goof up the technique, which a lot of heavyweights do, right? And then just kind of muscle through it. <clears throat> so again, just, you know, kind of real tight elbows, real tight elbows, pull. Real tight elbows, pull. And then he's going to straighten his arms because he doesn't like that. That's fine. Blocking right by the elbows and pinching his face. Now hips are in real tight. Okay. Now I'm going to pick a side. Just as soon as I get him to his ass, okay, knee goes over, 180 degree foot. So you got three options to score, one option to score. All right? Would you catch the leg there at all? No. 